All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival, where I believe we may have stumbled upon the location for our future home. Check this place out. It's awesome. It's got these huge trees, and it's just nice and, and peaceful looking. It's next to a uh, one of the fungi forest biomes, but I don't believe this is the one that's directly adjacent to Jerry's tree. I think it's another one because we're pretty far away from Jerry's tree, actually. Not that far. I didn't have to go uh, searching too much from where we last left off. And fortunately, we found this super awesome place. So I'm trying to decide whether or not I should build the house into like this open area or if I should use the open area for farming and such and then build the house into the cliffs over here or something. Probably not going to do the tree house because obviously we've got Jerry's tree and that will remain our tree house. Um, but I'm just trying to decide where to build such a house. Should I do it over here? Hmm, or do I build it into the cliffs? I think it could look pretty cool if it was built into the cliffs. You know? We could make it like multi-story and having balconies protruding from the cliffs and stuff. That could actually be pretty friggin' awesome. We'll just have to obviously clear out all the leaves here. But this could be a really cool location and, and have like a nice view out into the forest. Or let's see if it's any different on this side. This side may actually be even more pleasant. Yeah, I kind of like this over here, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see. You know, this is a pretty big decision. We've got to we got to examine the lay of the land and figure out what exactly the best spot is. Ooh, this could be a good good space right out on this hillside right here, overlooking this other awesome forest biome. That could be pretty sweet. Let's just let the chunks load. Come on! And there is a there's a jungle temple over there as well. All right, chunks, come on, do your work. Do what you're made to do and generate. You were already generated, but you've decided to ungenerate. Look at the Michelin men over there. <laughs> um, okay, come on. Come on. We need to see the awesome view. Biomes aplenty. Do what you have to do. Please. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good spot. That's a good spot up on this hillside right here. That's going to look so sweet. Check out. And then a nice view off into the... The forest with a jungle temple. Yeah, I like it. This is going to be our spot on this hillside right here. We're going to have to clear out a lot of leaves. But once that's taken care of, it'll be awesome. Okay, so first things first. I don't think we're going to tree capitate one of these. That would just be absurd. Um, <laughs> so let's aim for something smaller, possibly. Uh, but that, uh, that's Thumbcraft uh, Silverwood, I believe. Let's f try to find a regular tree somewhere just a regular old tree that i'm not going to feel bad for destroying what is this over here this is a great wood tree i think from thomcraft uh yes it is so all that stuff is sort of magical e maybe i can tree capitate one of these that'll give us all the wood we could ever want for a really long time so that might be a good idea so yeah one sec um i'll clear out some stuff let me make a chest this will make it easy for me to uh transfer hold on oh those are the planks right there so i need to just make a workbench really quickly boom there we go toss the feather out it's gonna be sunrise pretty soon and what are you what are you uh jungle spider oh haven't encountered one of those since divine rpg although this is a different jungle spider but you know okay let's put down a workbench and make a chest just so we can uh store some things at the moment before we make the migration over to the new home. So, all right, let's just toss a bunch of stuff in there. Doesn't matter what it is. All we need is the X, and I guess the torches would still be good to have, and so would a little bit of food. Okay, cool. So, oh, actually, what I should do is, can I, can I sleep still, please? Sleep, sleep, oh no. Oh, I'm in morph, uh, hold on, let me, I just wanna set my spawn point really quick. Boom. Oh, come on, morph. Morph yourself and sleep. I can only... God dang it, it's daytime. Stop it, Michelin man. Oh, God darn it. If I die and lose this place, I'm going to be real mad. Let me waypoint it. That's probably a good idea. Um, new home base and we'll color it uh, light blue is a good color. Okay. Boom. And fart noises as usual. Okay. So axe it up. We're going to tree capitate one of these trees over here. And there are red ants. 
I forgot that I couldn't fly for a second. So let's do one that's, let's do a smaller one. Uh, let's go over to the one, I have one in mind right over here. It's a smaller one. And that will get us a good bit of wood. Hopefully the, the biomes of plenty trees do still work with tree capitator. If they don't, then scratch that. Um, oh, what the? What is a tax quid? Are you kidding me right now? I don't want that. I don't want, no, I don't want, don't attack me, please. It's okay, they're probably confined to the uh, the water. So, okay, let's check this out. Tree cap, oh no, tree capitator doesn't work on you. Oh, god dang it. Okay, well, it's it's cool. We have our flight ability, despite the fact that it takes flight. What the, are you serious right now, guys? Oh my god, what the heck is this? It's not cool. Uh, all right, so we'll get some actually do I want like a special type of wood for our oh my god I'm blinded. This is annoying. How much time do I have on the blindness seven more seconds? These guys are super now. I can't even see you coming because you Okay, maybe maybe this place not the best next to the water because of the tech squids I should make a bow and arrows pretty soon as well All right, there we go Stupid attack squids Ooh, another ravine over here Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. That looks like a hydralisk spawner again. Um, okay, we can't tree capitate these though, so do we want to, I think we can tree capitate Tomcraft stuff though, but that's not the kind of planks we want. Hmm. Let's fly somewhere else where I can find some regular trees and then we'll make our way back. So let me bat it on up. A fire, I can be a fire bat too, except I don't think I can fly with that. So come on, here we go. Here we go, we, and we're off. Let's find some normal trees to tree capitate rubber wood from industrial craft. Um, I guess we can use these. Although, do we want? Is this the type of wood that we want to make our house out of? Uh, let's see. Well, we'll tree capitate you, and we'll see. What, well, let's just put a few down. We'll put a few planks down. See what it looks like, and see if it's something that we actually would like to build our house out of. So here we go, and I, I like more of a modern look, so actually, yeah, that doesn't look too bad, you know? You know, I don't mind that, to be honest with you. It's it's nice looking, and I do like the variety as opposed to uh, just the usual, why is it taking so long to destroy? Uh, that's a drawback. That is a drawback. Oh, but we could make an emerald axe, and that might be a good idea. Although we also want to make emerald armor. I don't know. Anyway, okay, we'll tree capitate that. We'll also turn all that into planks. And we'll just keep tree capitating right here. Takes a little longer to destroy because it's technically destroying the whole tree when you chop it down, hence the uh, added delay. I don't think that was uh, enacted yet when we were using it in Skyden unless the config file was changed so that maybe that wasn't taking place. I don't know, either way. Okay, let's just grab some more of these. And then we'll start building our house. It'll be the best. Man, I haven't built a house in like a super long time. I've just bought a condo. Haha. <laughs> That's not in the game. Um, so anyway. Anyway. We will, let's see. How much is that? That's going to be a good amount. I am going to just get a few more. And that'll be a starting point. I'm also going to want glass though. Um, and there may be some fancy glass available with all the mods we've got. Haven't looked into it, but let's check at the moment. Uh, let's see. One second, let me pick this stuff up. And I don't, I don't really like the super low vantage point, but the ability to fly is quite useful. So that's the only drawback. Okay, so let's search up glass. How many different types of glass do we have? Ooh, this is clear glass, Tinker's Construct. How do you make that? Clear glass pane. Do you have to smelt for that? Um, you do. With molten glass. Huh. We are going to want to make a uh, another smeltery as well, obviously, eventually. I just... Uh, hopefully we'd find a village that has one. That would be useful, because that's how we did it last time. Okay. But for now, we'll just stick to regular glass, I guess. Although there are actually... How many pages were there? Glass. Five pages. Mother of God. Uh, forge micro blocks. Do these have crafting recipes? Um, new. No? Okay. 
and just lots of things made of glass, but not so much in the way of actual windows. Oh, I need to be on the ground, otherwise it's going to take forever. All right, just a couple more. Just a couple more trees, and then we'll make a real fancy, nice-looking house, or at least we'll start it. Why is this taking so long? There we go. What? I had to... Is it too big? Is it too big? Seriously? No? Okay, lame. We're gonna have a floating tree. God dang it. <laughs> Why would it not work? Um, oh, wait. Oh, if you... Well, if you crouch, but that one still... That wasn't working for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Oh, well. Here we go. Boom. Pop goes the tree. Zol. Alright. A few more over there. Cool. And... I'll give it one more try. One sec. Was it just taking a while? Oh, there we go. Much better. But that is good to know that if I shift... Um, there we are. So many saplings is ridiculous. So if I shift uh, when I'm mining it, then it won't tree capitate. That is good to know. I didn't realize that. Um, all right. And I think that will just about do it. Cool. That's a lot of acacia wood to, uh, to mess around with as a start. I'm sure we'll have to fetch more, but there's a... A good bit that we can easily access right around here. So, all right, let me run back real quick. Nice cave in there. Nice little, nice little peak. <laughs> uh, so we were right on this hillside is what we were gonna do. I think. Am I correct in saying that? I think so. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's start building a house, dudes. How about it, man? Sounds like a plan to me. All right. So where are we gonna do it? Shall we start in this area? We're gonna start off by, I guess, clearing out a little bit of, a little bit of land. Um, the leaves are gonna be obnoxious, <laughs> unfortunately. But well, what can what can you do? Um, hmm. Actually, let's make a shovel too. We're gonna have to destroy lots of dirt, so we should probably do that. Just one sec. Let me run on back over here. I do love sprint flying. <laughs> um, okay. So, what we want to do is, do we want to make an emerald shovel? That's probably overkill slightly. We'll make an iron shovel. I'd like to save my emeralds because I don't know whether or not I got lucky or if they're actually uh, hard to come by. So, there we go. Iron shovel it up. We'll make a couple of them. We'll probably need to. Boom. A couple iron shovels. And I think that will do for now. Do we have any more food in here that we want to grab? I mean, we could start smelting. I don't know. Uh, I think we're fine. Okie dokie, pickaxe, axe, we're all good there. Sweet! Check it out, chunks! <laughs> Come on, chunks! It's getting obnoxious. Alright, so... Actually, what we could do is we could start off with this open area over here. That could be a good way to do it, although it, I do like the more elevated location as well. And we can make the compound just stretch on down the, to there anyway, so... Let's, um, I don't know, because we can make the compound stretch up with some stairs, why don't we start off with a home base over here, just because it'll be easier, and then in the future we can work towards clearing out everything. I don't know why it just went into the pause menu. All right, so let's start off. It'll be pretty basic for now, I think. Um, but what can I say? So let's level out this area. And we will start building things. Woo, actually, let me go, uh. We morph back into being a person again. <laughs> there we go, just so I can get the normal vantage point, because otherwise it's a little bit annoying. Wee! All right, thank you, shovel. I haven't used a shovel in such a long time. All right. So this will be just the starting point, and then as time goes by, as the the series progresses, we can keep adding on to the the structure. Obviously, we can build like a staircase that leads us all the way up there. It'll be pretty sweet if I do say so myself. But for now. We'll stick to uh, we'll stick to this area. Start building it into the hillside. All right, and I'd like to go for sort of a modern theme. I've never been very good at designing things in Minecraft, uh, but hopefully this can be my time to change that and make something that looks nice. Although I am just going to start off with a totally square base, and I might run out of uh, of wood quicker than I had hoped for as well. Just a little bit of a bummer, but we'll start off. We'll start off with just a, a really, really basic house that we can that we can use for now. It's more functional at this moment than it is pretty. 
And uh, one sec, take that out and that out, and build the last row over here. And then we'll build up. Okay. So, yeah, one room. Woo! It's got a nice view. It's got a nice view. I'd buy it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And I guess we should build. How high do we want the ceilings in here? How about, like... We'll be liberal. We'll be liberal with it. We'll make it like four block high ceilings. We don't want it to be too confined for a nice, beautiful home. <laughs> and, okay, two, two at a time. Yeah, we're gonna run out pretty quickly here, but not a big deal. We'll be fine. Then I can collect the bed and I'll just build it a, a box for now and then I'll mine out the door later. Okay, more acacia. Yeah, we're gonna run out super quickly. Whoops. <laughs> Oh well, even out the height, and then add, I guess, two more, so that we can have four block high ceilings. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, there we go. And then, let's see, so that is three blocks right there, and then we'll build the, um, whoops, let me, I guess I'll just scaffold it up. All right. And then we'll build the roof out of the, uh, the top block here. Then we'll have four block high ceilings. It'll be swell. Okay, keep building around here. And we'll start off with, it's actually gonna look very confined with such high ceilings. It's gonna look like a little box, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, and now let's put a ceiling down. I wish there were more aesthetic light sources available at the moment than, uh, than torches. But we'll have to work towards those as well. And uh, telepads as well, so we can go quickly between Jerry's tree and this location. But we still have to find Enderman in order to do that. All right. <clears throat> Check it out. We have a, a box. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's incredible. All right, we'll make some nice doors on it. Can we do three high doors? We probably can't, actually. So we'll stick to two high for now and light it up with torches just so that nothing spawns inside it even though I'll try to make it more aesthetic looking later on. Yeah! Look at our house, it's amazing. Look at my house, my house is amazing. Give it a lick, ooh, it tastes just like acacia wood. All right, so it is time to bat it on up again. Collect our bed, bring our bed over and Start us off with our new home. What are you wearing? What are, What the heck? What is this? What are you? Hey, you are a one. It's literally called a one. <laughs> Damage in the... You are called a... Uh, entity... Entity Peck One name. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't exactly know. What the heck are you? Earth Elemental? That's sketchy. All right, I'm gonna not deal with you for a second here. Let me, I'll take the bed first. Get out of my house. Get out of my house, heck and spiders. Yeah, get wrecked. All right, let me, just, God dang it. Stupid zombie, well at least I got a hat for it. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna take what I have as much as I can. I'll fly, God dang it, okay. Mistakes have been made. Three, two, one, all right. Would have completely lost track of where I was. All right, we'll just have to transfer items back and forth real quickly. Was that an Enderman? Hold on. Yes, Enderman. I need you. I need your pearls. And please don't, you wouldn't hurt an innocent bat. You also wouldn't drop an Ender Pearl, would you? Nice guy, nice guy. Please don't, please don't, please go away. All right, so we have a bed. We'll put the bed here, I guess, and we'll sleep in it. And I am in morph. I keep forgetting that part. Oh, I can be an enemy now. Awesome. Okay. Wee, and look at that arm up here. It's amazing. And we're sleeping. And we're sleeping. And we're resting. And all right, cool. Back to a bat. This is <laughs> going to be such a back and forth process. And it's going to be annoying once I have such a huge amount of, uh, of things to morph into that I can't ever find the bat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sprint flying is the best. And, oh wait, I need to I need to take the chest with me, I think. 
Um, let me do that real quick. I'll take the chest with me, and the items will be here, but I can come back and grab them real quick. I uh, just need to grab the chest. Come on, chest. I need chest in my inventory. Pretty please. Just give me the chest of all things. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not giving me the chest. It's not giving me the chest. There we go. Beautiful. I could have made a new chest, but for some reason I didn't want to. So, okay, we'll place that down. We'll, then we'll just put all items in it, and then we'll transfer the uh, remaining ones as well. Okay. Put you down, and let's just put everything in it for now. And then we'll grab the other items, and we'll transfer them here too. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh, that's full up. Let's grab the other stuff. Hopefully we have enough space in our inventory not to have to make another trip. And boom. Did we get everything? I think we did. Awesome. That takes care of that. And workbench. Awesome. All right, we're good to go. Everything is transferred over to the new house. Although I, I still don't know where we're going to set up like a quarry and whatnot, but we'll have to worry about that once we actually have the resources for it. Okay, so let's make another, another chest real quick here. And we'll make a door. I wonder if we can make acacia doors. That could be cool. All right, some of that, some wood. How about an acacia door? Is that a thing, or is it just it's gonna make a regular door? Whatever, make a couple wooden doors. That'll do, that'll do. We can make a, a fancy piston door later on when that's something that's accessible, but for now, oh, I shouldn't have used the acacia. Should have used the regular wood planks. What am I doing? Making terrible mistakes, that's what I'm doing. Okay, chest number two at home base is set up. And then we could make another chest on the other side. Let's do that. Let's do that real quick. All right. Boom. And one more loop. Boom. Double chest it up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at our nice home. Look at our super freaking awesome home with double doors on it and everything. Yeah. And a beautiful view. And I'm one block high because I'm a bat. <laughs> All right. Well, I think... We might call the episode there for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have a rating, it would be much appreciated. Other than that, thanks for watching, dudes. And next time, I guess we'll focus on actual real resource collection where we can take it all back and, uh, and put it in chests. And then we'll go from there. See you next time.